Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to import Archive Radar data into Level 2 and 3 NextRad programs such as Gibson Ridge. Alright, so you want to start off on the HDSS uh, website. So, we are going to find an event of significance under the severe thunderstorm events under the SPC's website. So let's take <clears throat> Joplin, Missouri for example. So May 22nd, 2011. All right, go ahead and hit retrieve. Click on that day, make sure you've got what you want. This is the right day. Self-explanatory. All right, once you have this, you want to click on the radar in which this event was around. So in this case, Joplin, Missouri, closest radar would be Springfield, Missouri. You're going to need to know the code for the radar, which is the first four letters, in this case, KSGF. So you're going to go here, you're going to go back to the website, scroll down, KSGF, type in the day you want. Now this is year, month, and day. So 2000, I want to go back and change that, 2011, 522. You want to enter your email, hit continuous selections, from here, you're going to click Retrieve Selected Files. I've already done this, so I don't need to do this. However, I'll show you what you will get when you get that order from them. You get this URL here, you want to click that. And from here, you see KSGF Springfield gives you the year, the month, and the day. You download this file. Once you've got that file downloaded, you're going to need something like WinRAR or WinZip to unpack and extract the inside, all the files from the inside. I've deleted the file since. No, I still have it. Okay. So you're going to open this. It has to read multiple thousands of files here. <clears throat> so once you have this, you want to find the right product. Now in this case, we're going to be looking for base reflectivity, which is, you read the code here, you get KSGF, the first four letters is a radar site, the middle six, I'm not sure, and the beginning three on the set right here, that would be your product name or scan. So let's go down to where I normally find the base reflectivity products, right about in the middle. So here you have N0Q, uh, let's go down to what I know, N0R, okay, so reflectivity tilt 0, which is 0 0.5 degrees. So you can take these, these files you found, going to import them, into, you, no, you're not going to import them to anything yet, you want to make a folder and put all the files that you want in this folder. So since I've already done this, I'll show you how. To highlight more than one file, hold shift and scroll down. See what you do from here is take these files, drag them into the folder like so. I'm not gonna do that. I already have the folders I want or the files I want. So once you're here, you don't need to be on the radar site, but it's it's preferable. I'm gonna go ahead and pull all these files into the program I'm using. Take these files, drag them in here, give it just a second to load. Alright, so now we have the data from Joplin, the Joplin Supercell and Tornado. So here we can, we can roll through it and look at everything. And I went ahead and imported, I also have the base velocity products, which those are NOV is base velocity tilt zero. NO 
SOV, I believe. No, NOS. N0S is storm relative velocity. And then, of course, N0R is base reflectivity at tilt 1. So once you have this, you'll have your base velocity products, your storm relative velocity products. Um, that's, that's about it. Um, you can scroll through it, play around with a little... So here you got that the hook and the debris ball on this storm with your real tight velocities here. Anyway, that's how to import archive radar data into Gibson Ridge level 3 programs. Level 2 you follow the same steps. Um, I haven't tried with level 2. I'm sure it's just as um, labor intensive when it comes to finding all the files you want. You're talking about a folder with 9,000 files, but yep. Anyway, this is how to load your products in here. Um, the links are all going to be in the um, the information below. I'll post a link to the archive site. I'll post a link to get the trial or the buy the full product of this this Gibson Ridge product. And uh, if you want any of these um, color tables, I can link those as well.